I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. If you need a banking app where you can manage your money and track your expenses from your mobile, Revolut is a great digital bank. Not only that, but the Revolut card is a great travel companion as you can exchange money at the real market rate and commission free. I've currently got a link that you can use to get a free card when you sign up for an account, which I'll pop in the summary below. So Revolut is a digital only banking app and card, and it's different from traditional banks due to its low fees and flexibility. The card itself is a prepaid MasterCard that is specifically aimed for those that travel. Offering international bank transfers and spending abroad with no hidden fees, the goal at Revolut is for their users to be able to manage their entire financial life from a single app. From everyday spending and budgeting to foreign currency exchange and easy access stock trading. This is so that you can get more out of your money. And these are just a few features that I'm going to show you within the app shortly. The company themselves are based out of the UK and they launched back in 2015. They now have over 11 million customers across Europe and the US and made 35 million transactions with a total of over 40 billion pounds. Now, although the app is widely available throughout Europe and the US, depending on your location, the app might look different and the features and plans might be different too. For example, Revolut has now launched its app and service in the US, meaning that anyone can now sign up and get a Revolut debit card, but they will only have access to the core services for the time being. And Revolut also have a business account platform called Revolut for Business, and that's for domestic and international payments. I won't be covering this today, but if it is of interest, let me know and I can always cover it in a separate tutorial. Revolut Banking comes in three different plans across Europe and two plans in the US. There is a free version, which is their standard plan, as well as paid versions, which include advanced features such as insurance, cashback bonuses and concierge services. Most users, including me, will find that the free standard plan is sufficient enough, but you can obviously opt for paid plans depending on the features you require. As with anything, there are always extra fees, and with the standard plans, this includes 2% on withdrawals over your limit. Now, if you find that the limit isn't enough, which I found for longer trips, one way that I personally get around it is by using a few different cards. Also, you do have unlimited spending on your card, so try and use your card wherever possible then if this withdrawal amount still isn't enough, it might be worth upgrading to a pay plan where higher withdrawal limits are available. But going back to the fees, you will also get charged a 0.5% on larger bank transfers. For more information about these fees, you can obviously check all of this out on the Revolut site. Now, one of the best advantages of using Revolut is the fact that you get to spend fee-free at the interbank rate in 150 countries. Usually when you spend abroad, you do get hit with transaction fees and hidden charges. However, using Revolut abroad is pretty much like when you're using it in your home country. However, don't forget that withdrawals from anywhere, and that does include your home country, are capped and anything after that is charged at that 2% fee. So let's jump into the app now so that I can show you how to top up, create and manage your account and how you can easily convert your currency. The first thing you're going to want to do is add money into your account. And that's really easy. All you need to do is click on to add money. And from here, you can set up cards to transfer your funds across. So you simply need to enter the amount that you'd like to top up your card with and then click on to add money. And it's really easy to exchange your money to. So to exchange, you just need to click onto this exchange button in the center of your dashboard. You choose the currency that you'd like to exchange from, enter the amount, and then choose from a whole host of different types of currencies that you can see from the list here. Now, one thing to be made aware of is the fact that if you make a currency exchange during the weekend, you'll be charged a markup. And that's because the interbank rate is always fluctuating and may not be the same on a Monday as it was on the previous Friday. The markup is at 0.5% for the major 15 currencies that they have and 1% for the others. Also, just keep in mind that card payments, ATM withdrawals, and money transfers abroad all imply a currency exchange. Therefore, the weekend markup applies in all of these cases. Now, if you don't fancy paying these charges, exchange in advance, i.e. on a weekday, and that way you'll save yourself some money. Then if we just take a look at details, 
In here is where you can view your bank account details, such as your local account and your international banking details too. Then we have our analytics. So this helps you to track your spending and you can view that by category, by merchant and country if you've spent your funds in more than one country. You can create payments with bank transfers, pay friends and you can also split the bill from here too. Under cards is where you can manage your physical card and you can also create virtual cards in here as well. Virtual cards will help to protect you against online card fraud. So with these disposable virtual cards, details are automatically cleared after every online transaction and a new card details are then instantly generated in your app too. And another great feature that I've used a lot is the ability to be able to freeze or unfreeze your card. If you think you've lost or misplaced your card, you can click on to freeze your card instantly in your app without having to speak to your bank at all. Then if you happen to find it again, you can simply unfreeze your card from the app too. And you can also enable location-based security, meaning that Revolut will block any payment where your phone is in a different location to the payment being made. Just be aware though that if you are conscious of your privacy, the Revolut app will obviously track your location in the background. Then in your dashboard, you can create your accounts. So say for example, I wanted to create another account in another currency, what I need to do is click on to show more, and then I can click on to add an account. And for example, I may wish to create a Mexican peso account. So from here, I can store some pesos. And I'll then be provided with my bank details so that I can store my funds in this account. Now a major downfall for those in the UK is that Revolut is not FCS approved. The account that you hold with Revolut is an electronic money account and not a standard bank account. Therefore, your money is not covered by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, enabling the firm to offer FSCS protected deposits and lending services for their customers. So at the moment, Revolut only safeguards the money that they receive from their customers. The app was granted a European banking license by the Bank of Lithuania in 2018, but in the UK has operated as an FCA authorised e-money institution only. However, if you're in the US, Revolut have partnered with Metropolitan Commercial Bank for the banking infrastructure, which is great as it means that deposits are FDIC insured up to $250,000. And there is also junior accounts here too, which is basically an account for ages 7 to 17. And this will help them to learn about responsible spending and budgeting, and this is only available for those with a premium or metal account. And there are a lot of other features shown within the dashboard too. Now, unfortunately for those in the US, things such as trading and cryptocurrencies are not yet available. With trading on Revolut, you can own a piece of some of the world's most well-known companies, including Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Tesla. And you can invest into a company such as little as $1 with fractional shares. And there is no account minimums and you can withdraw at any time for free too. Now, a while ago, I used to purchase my cryptocurrency with the use of Revolut, although not directly with them. A while back, a lot of cryptocurrency exchanges only allowed you to trade with euros and transferring into GBP would incur expensive international bank transfer fees. Therefore, I'd simply convert my GBPs into a euro account like I did earlier in Revolut and then I'd simply send my euros across to the exchange to trade with. However, nowadays European Revolut users can immediately exchange any currency into cryptocurrency assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin and Ripple. Mind you, I wouldn't personally recommend this as you don't have access to your private keys, your funds are not safeguarded by Revolut or covered by the FCSC and you can only send your crypto to other Revolut users and not across to another wallet where you would have more safety and control. So that was my overview and review of the Revolut banking app and I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everabithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.